Hi there, if you're new here, my name is Mayur. I graduated from the University of Bristol in Advanced Robotics and AI, and now I'm doing my research in one of the biggest robotics lab in the UK. Today I'm going to answer a question that comes up a lot in many different forms, like can I get into robotics if I have an electronics background? Am I making a wrong choice by picking electronics? Or is it too late to get into robotics because I graduated from an electronics engineering degree? In a nutshell, let's see if electronics engineering is important in robotics. The short answer is yes, electronics engineering is super important for robotics, but how? So let me explain that by sharing my personal experience because I started my journey as an electronics engineer. I've also highlighted why it is crucial in robotics with the help of human nervous system analogy. And lastly, I'll provide a practical key takeaway for anyone who is looking to break into this field. I started my career as an electronics engineer because at that time there wasn't an option to major in robotics. The internet wasn't helpful because most of the information was pretty generic, but I knew I wanted to build robots and to do that I needed to learn electronics, mechanics and coding. So I went with what was available, which was electronics. Fast forward to today in 2023, after graduating from one of the top universities in the UK and simultaneously working with some of the most advanced robots, plus winning over 30 plus national level robotics, coding and design competitions, what I've learned that there hasn't been a single day when I haven't used electronics to build robots. And as I'm getting more and more advanced in this robotics, I'm realizing that choosing electronics was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made for one key reason. That is, it is easier to learn coding on your own, but not electronics design. Let me explain. For practicing coding, all you need is a computer and a YouTube, or some courses, and you can do it from the comfort of your home. But for some serious electronics design practice, like building and testing circuits under various conditions, you definitely need different instrumentation devices. And it is quite a challenging job. Just to give you a bit of a context, during my internship as a research assistant, I spent seven months testing load sensors to understand like a wear and tear losses of our robotics joints when they go through like a high impact activities. And I had to spend six hours in a lab every single day working with multiple instrumentation devices like DSO, signal conditioning circuits, oscilloscope, power supplies, and so many other. Obviously, as a student, affording these fancy devices is just not possible for us. But guess who has them? Our universities. So I started using university labs to work on my robotics project. Sure, none of the courses actually taught me how to apply electronics to robotics, since my major was pure electronics. But I got my fundamentals right, and the whole time I was like, I had my robotics ideas at the back of my mind, so I ended up using my electronics knowledge for my own robotics project. And as it turned out, that, that knowledge is very much transferable in robotics. And sure, I had to figure out things out on my own, but it was such a fun journey that the kind of entire transition felt very organic. Now, why electronics is so important to build robots? Let me explain that with a simple analogy to keep it simple. You know how our nervous system helps all of our body parts to communicate and react to the changes both inside and outside? You know, it uses electrical and chemical signals to send and receive message, right? Well, it's kind of like that with robots also. When we write code, it creates different signals to control various parts of the robot, so it can perform specific tasks. In robotics, there are lots of subsystems like sensors, actuators, communication systems, and control systems. And these systems needs to work together seamlessly. And guess what? Electronics knowledge is super important for designing and implementing such subsystems and their interfaces. Plus, troubleshooting any of the issues that come up while we are building the systems for robots is also very crucial. And who is going to do all of that? You as an electronics engineer, if you choose to go down this path. Another reason is, since robotics is such a new field, you won't always use off-the-shelf hardware like sensors for your project. Sometimes you have to build your own, especially if you're planning a robotics startup like me. In that case, you might end up designing a custom electronics hardware from scratch to suit your specific needs. And for this, you either need to be an electronics expert or you need one on your team. For example, 
some of you might know that I'm designing an intelligent bionic leg for people with kind of no legs. And in this project, I literally spent two years just designing custom sensors for data collection, actuator control for movement and interaction, control system as a robot's brain, and now developing some sort of a communication system so that all these kind of parts talk to each other. And we could discuss each of these areas for hours, and we will in the future videos just to just to make you understand the scale of robotics. But the bottom line is there are so many challenges that need solving in robotics in the context of electronics. And for that, we do need good electronics engineers. Now, robotics is truly unique. It's not like other fields where you learn only specific domain knowledge and that's it. In robotics, no matter where you start, whether it's electronics, mechanical or computer science, further down the line, you eventually gain knowledge about other fields as well. So start wherever you find the most enjoyable and trust the process. The important thing is to begin as early as possible because the sooner you start, the more time you have to do experimentation, make mistakes and then learn from them. It's like a cycle and it, it does take time because robotics is kind of a Frankenstein of kind of engineering in simple words. So I hope that helps and I'll see you guys in the next video.